Once you've got your MySQL database set up and your WordPress files uploaded to your web server in the right spot, then you're going to edit a file to connect those two together. To do that, in your FTP program, connect to your web server and get into your blog's installation folder where there's all these different files and folders, most of which start with WP- we're looking for a file called wp-config-sample.php. Once you find that, we're going to edit it. So a cyberduck, that means I'm going to first download it by dragging to my desktop, and then I'm going to edit it. If you're using FileZilla, you can just right-click on the file and select Edit. So now that I've downloaded it to my desktop, I'm going to right-click and choose Open With and I'm going to select Other and go into my Applications folder and I'm going to come down to the T's and grab Text Edit. You want to open it with Text Edit uh, because that's a safe program to open the file with. If you open it with something like Microsoft Word, um, then you may actually damage the file. Once the file's open, you're going to edit three parts of it. There's a lot of information in here and you can ignore most of it but there are three things that you're going to change and these are the three things I told you to write down when you're creating the database, the MySQL database, and that's the database name, the database user, and the database password. And So you find it right here, kind of a couple lines down where it says the name of the database. And right where it says put your DB name here, just write in the name of the database you created. And then for database username, put the username and then password, write in the password that you selected. Then we can save the file, and I'm going to close it, and then I'm just going to re-upload it and overwrite the one that's on my server, and CyberDuck is going to prompt me to make sure that I, over, that I want to overwrite it, and I do. And then we're done. On FileZilla, you'll just be editing in uh, um, Notepad, and then you can click Save, and FileZilla will prompt you uh, to upload the changes you've made and, and click yes. So now that we've re-uploaded it, before it'll actually work we have to do one more thing which is we're going to rename this file and we're going to remove the dash sample at the end like that so it's changed to wp-config.php